Hello, hello. Welcome to Mikasa. Before I show you the house, let's check out the ride. This here, I think it's a 2003 Toyota Tacoma. Lots of dents, you know. Um, I've actually driven this thing for like 10 straight years. And uh, I know it's probably worth like five grand at this point, but I love it. I just love when I, when I have Glute Squad members ride in the back with me. This part's really uncomfortable, so I put this pillow, but everyone always gets pissed who have to let's just sit in the middle there. But I think it's funny, I will not upgrade. I just don't care about cars. Sometimes I think I should buy like some fancy car, but I just don't care. Anyway, onto the house. Come on in. All right, as you can see, it's got a very modern look. What I'm most proud of in here is all the decorations. If you look, I got a lot of stuff hung up on the walls. Now, I moved in here in uh, probably like October 7th or something like that. And I had three weeks to throw a party for my glute squad. We had a Halloween party and I wanted it to look nice. So I did all this decorating in like three weeks. Now, some of this stuff I had at my last house but a lot of it I purchased off of Amazon, Target, Walmart. You'd be amazed at the stuff you can get there. So first I wanna highlight this couch. This is the legendary Love Sack couch. You can fit a lot of people in here. You will often see my client Jade sleeping right here through the, throughout the whole Super Bowl. She will be sound asleep despite everything else going on. Um, but I do like these Love Sack couches because you, you can make them huge. It feels like you're it feels like you're watching a movie, you know? Now, this TV, it's the Sony Bravia. I don't know much about technology, but it is the best TV on the market. And what I really like is this TV stand. You know, I can get this like 180 degree turn if I wanted. And I can get it to pop out so much. So it kind of looks like you're, it feels like you're in a movie theater a little bit. Now, all these plants in here are fake. I just don't know how to take care of things. I'm not good at it. I do not have a green thumb. Everything I buy dies. <laughs> so the fake plants look great though. Check this out. That was uh, painted. A French artist created this for me um, based on a magazine cover that I was in, which I'll show you a bit later. Here you got Skelly. Skelly's resting position. Now, a lot of this stuff has some meaning to me. This here is a calendar of my trip. The Glute Squad made this for me, the trip to Cancun that we had. Um, here you got more of the same things, like this Masa got for me, my client Masa when I went to Hawaii. My client Elizabeth made this for me. See, Glute Loops, that's a picture of me. Brett the serial killer, see, serial, get it? Whenever I go to the zoo in San Diego, I love watching the silverback gorillas. I've always loved silverbacks. I love King Kong. This is a like eight inch size Brett Contreras. I got this at one of the casinos in Vegas last year, actually, I think it was Cosmo. I got this from the Hawaii trip, this from the Cancun trip. This is 300, you know, uh, Leonidas. Some of you followed me back in the Phoenix garage days, and you know that I had the movie 300 going on nonstop there. That's one of my favorite movies. Right here we got Iron Man, and Iron Man is actually like an inspiration behind, <laughs> I'm not comparing myself to Iron Man, but I wish, like my dream is to have this lab where I can like create prototypes of equipment and just have, like do it right there on the spot and be like, okay, let's tweak this, let's tweak this, and then, Maybe one day I'll make it happen. We have a second couch. And this actually gets used all the time. People have to sleep here when I have parties. All right, what's on the coffee table? We got Glute Lab. Always wanted this to have this nice design where you'd be proud to, to showcase it on your coffee table. Discover Magazine, I love my science. This is actually, this here is an Iron Man magazine from July 1976. That's the month that I was born. It's really cool 
to flip through here and see how all the different equipment was and to just see the differences in equipment. Kind of cool how we've come a long way, but I love looking at this stuff. And of course, glute loops. I actually use these all the time while I'm watching Netflix. All right, now on to the kitchen. Um, I'm going to Tampa tomorrow on a trip, so I don't have much, but I always have tons of nuts and seeds and dried fruit, big fan of dried fruit, dried cherries, dried cranberries, peanut butter, honey. Don't have much in my fridge, you're gonna be disappointed, but I always have tons of yogurts, Greek yogurts, eggs. Uh, here is a shake that I was gonna make in front of you guys. Milk, whey protein powder, lots of honey roasted peanuts in there and oats. Throw it in here, turn it on, and it's ready to go. I just open it up, ready to drink, whoops. <laughs> All right, one thing interesting about this house, it was built for really tall people. I'm six foot four, but this house is huge. All these people are like, why are that countertop so high? And especially this microwave, why is it up so high? People who are five feet tall can't even reach here. They have to have me get this stuff out. But yeah, the previous owner of this house was six foot four, just like me. And his wife, I think was like 5'10", she was tall as well. So they wanted a tall person's house. All right, in the pantry, got lots of stuff. Got all my energy drinks here. I just only allow myself to have one a day usually. Uh, funny, I don't really drink alcohol, but it's loaded with liquor. These are for my parties, but I got all types of liquor and my glue squad just wants tequila. Like this is all they want is right here. They want Patron, they want Casamigos, but I'm not a big drinker anymore. I used to, we used to party a ton in my twenties. Also, I love my hot tamales. I love cinnamon. You might know me as the glute guy, but I'm also the cinnamon kid. Seven rules of life. Don't you forget it. Uh, blender, toaster, air fryer, two different coffee makers and a water boiler. These are all for my glute squad. I don't drink tea or coffee, but they sure do. Here I got my calendar. You will be amazed. I can have a calendar. I can have a things to do list. I can write things down. I will still forget everything. I got my ring light here so that when I do podcasts, I can face, just have extra light come in through the ring light. So here's where I normally do my podcasts and things like that. Always have a detailed things to do list reminding me what I need to get done for the day. This controls the jacuzzi. And here we have the famous bean bag. This is also from Love Sack. Now let me show you some of the bedrooms. All right, first up, this is the wooden room for obvious reasons. Look at this cool wood, this like pops out at you. I really love the way this looks, but this is actually my favorite painting in the house. It makes me feel like I'm at the beach. Some of, the, some of my glue squad, this is their favorite room. They all have their favorite rooms. The next room, is the blue room. That's because all the things in here are blue, blue, blue. <clears throat> Bathroom number one, it's nice because it's got that rainfall shower. Now this is the laundry room. This is a huge laundry room. It's nice because we have to do a lot of laundry here, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, lots of laundry going on in here. Now we have the red room. Obvious 
for obvious reasons, there's everything's red in here. Uh, this is actually the preferred room for most people because it has a bathroom. So this is bathroom number two. I'm very proud of this thing right here because I found a curved rod like you get at the hotels. It's kind of surprisingly hard for me to put together. And this is the lost and found. So many people leave their stuff here. All the beds here, you can incline the head like this. And they're surprisingly comfortable. This is the famous mirror here. Lots of selfies being taken in this mirror. So you'll see lots of selfies here showing off their glutes. The, I do think because it's slanted this way, it makes your lower body appear bigger. So the girls that tend to be a little bit slimmer, they love the mirror because it makes their butts look bigger. But the girls who are a little bit thicker, they don't like it because it makes them look even thicker. Anyway, overall, this is a very popular mirror. <clears throat> now onto my room. All right, welcome to my room. This bed right here. Now, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> Big time. And, and when I say magic, maybe not the magic you're thinking of, more like this. Being single these days, it's a little disappointing. It's a badass bed and here's why. If I hit this button, it vibrates. And it's pretty powerful. The whole bed vibrates. I'm addicted to this. It rocks me to sleep. But I can also, as you can see, the, the bed is inclined on the, both the foot and the head. And I can choose to incline or decline the foot. Here, I'll drop the foot down. See that? And now I'll drop the head down but I actually like having them both inclined. Um, something interesting about me, I am the worst sleeper. It's a double-edged sword. It's why I'm so productive, but I also <laughs> am tired throughout life. A lot of times I sleep this way. That's always annoyed my girlfriends because in the middle of the night, I'll wake them up. I'm like, I'm like can we sleep this way? But <clears throat> I will read so my head will be here and I'll read like here. So I'll have a little reading light like that. Okay. And I'll put it right here and I'll just read until I can't, you know, until I'm about to fall asleep, then I turn the light off. But I have this little step thing so I can just put the book right on there. Also, if you press this button back here, there's an LED light underneath the bed and you can make it different colors like blue, green, red, purple. I don't use that very often, but it's cool. Okay, now since I'm such a poor sleeper, I don't like sound. Sound wakes me up, so I use this guy. So it's a fan sound, and you can choose different fan noises and, and white noises, but this is my favorite. Some people love it, it drives other people crazy. Some people are like, I don't know how you sleep like that. All right, here's the Tulum, uh, Here's a picture of the Tulum trip. Um, and then I got like lots of New York. And then this tiger I like because blue is my favorite color. Now I want to show you some of my accolades. This is my first personal trainer certification from American Council on Exercise or ACE. Here's my EMT certification. Uh, this is from like 2000. Arizona teacher and substitute teacher certification. These are from way back in the day, right? Uh, this is my master's degree. This is from ASU. This is my high school diploma, Shadow Mountain High School. This is in Phoenix, Arizona. NAU, that's my bachelor's degree from Flagstaff. All right, now some of the stuff more specific to strength and conditioning. CSCS with distinction there, okay? With distinction, proud of that. I love the NSCA. Now here are some of my trademarks and patents. So this is my patent on the hip thruster, okay? 
very proud of this. Um, got that in 2012, but I actually applied for it in 2009. Here's trademark on Boot Loop, trademark on Booty by Brett. This is my, the magazine I told you about earlier. I was on the cover of Scottsdale Health. Look at that beard, majestic beard right there. And that was right, that was like a week before my 40th birthday. That was before the gray set in, okay? <laughs> now this is my PhD diploma, right? And this is my dissertation right here. This was from 2016. See, this is on basically squats versus hip thrusts, horizontal versus vertical exercises. See? Kinematics, kinetics, and electromyography of vertical and horizontal hip extension exercises and their transference to acceleration and power. This is from AUT in New Zealand. Here we got body weight strength training anatomy and all the different languages that it was translated into. And this is Glute Lab. And now Glute Lab is translated into different languages as well. This is Strong Curves. So these are the three books I've written. Here's some of the magazines that I've been on. Uh, been inside these different magazines, like here's, a, here's an article I did. I actually showed this in my last YouTube video. Here's an, a drawing that I made them do, but yeah, this is an article on glutes that I was heavily involved in. Um, but yeah, all of these It's in this one too, and that, there's me at Glute Lab doing Smith Machine hip thrusts. Same thing. Uh, really cool. Here, Men's Health gives advice from the top 20 gyms in the US. And interestingly, Glute Lab, Phoenix, Arizona was number five. It was really an honor to be featured as one of the top 20 gyms. This is Men's Health inside the Ass Factory. It's my buddy Andre, but these crack me up right here. He made me extra jacked, right? Here's me doing goblet squats, sideline hip abductions, extra range. So yeah. And then here's some of my published papers. Well, this was my first article that ever got popular. This was 2009, Dispelling the Glute Myth. This was my first published study, To Crunch or Not to Crunch. That was 2011. And this is my first published original research. This was from 2015. A comparison of gluteus maximus biceps femoris and vastus lateralis electromyographic activity in the back squat and barbell hip thrust exercises. This sketchbook is from 2006. This is 15 years old and this was when I first thought up the hip thrust and here's some of these old original drawings right this is kind of like a plate loaded booty builder right here see that I even got them like notarized in case someone came up with an invention after I did and I hadn't patented it yet well yeah this was October 25th of 2006 this was the idea for the very first hip thruster. This thing sucked, but yeah. I called it the scorcher. And I had these different drawings here. Now let's address the elephant in the room. A tanning bed. Just open it up, hit start, boom. I know what you're thinking, who the hell has a tanning bed in their own room, but sometimes I'm busy, I don't have time to lay out, so I like to do this a few times a week and stay tan. Okay, this is my closet. This is a no judgment zone, I'm not the neatest guy, but lots of jorts in here. Tons of jorts, 
Tons of tank tops, right? These guys here. Most of my clothes I get from Amazon. I'm just not the nicest dresser in the world. I don't care about that either. My client Sarah got this for me, this bidet, and it's a game changer. I, I, don't, like, <laughs> I don't like going to the bathroom without a bidet anymore. Why doesn't every toilet have a bidet? Now we got the bathtub with this rainforest-like background. I have not used this yet, but I do fit in it. Uh, I didn't think I could fit because I never fit inside of bathtubs, but I actually tried this and I would fit. I've just never taken baths before, so I don't know. I guess I could, usually you have to have your whole torso out when you're tall like me or your whole legs out, but here I could actually use it if I want to relax. I just, I don't know, I need to get over the hump and try it. And now one of the coolest things about my house, this here is a steam room, okay? So here we got steam. And I can set it whatever temperature I want. I use this almost every single night. Love it. Now I'm wet. <laughs> Shit. Now let me show you the upstairs game room. All right, we got the marker board to try and keep me organized with all my social media stuff. This is actually where my camera guy, Alex, lives. Here I got him this couch, but the couch turns into a bed. How do you turn into a bed? Pull this out. And then what? Oh, wow. So this is Alex's bed, but then also a couch. And this here is his computer station. It's pretty badass. So we edit all the YouTube videos here. We got two Glute Lab Cantina signs. I designed this with my niece Gabby and it was pretty cool because uh, we, we designed that together. It took us like 20 minutes, but she liked this one a lot more. She liked those colors with the orange and the green and the, the light blue and the pink. But I like these colors better with the red, the blue, the yellow and the green. We couldn't decide so I got two of them. I think it's funny because Glute Lab San Diego doesn't even have an official sign. It just has a banner and Glute Lab Cantina has two different neon signs. All right, now some cool game stuff. Here is a ping pong table. Here's a large Connect Four. Uh, I am unbeaten in Connect Four, I'm warning you. I'm pretty good at this. If you're as good as me, then it comes down to whoever gets to go first wins. Here we got an arcade game. You can play Pac-Man and stuff like that. There's a bunch of different games from the 80s on here. Pool table. Here we got cornhole. Here we have a dartboard. Here we've got a bartending station. All right, so if we have parties up here, we get the music going. It's a lot of fun, but yeah, we can actually have a bartender serving drinks. And here's a little fridge. And then finally, here, oh my God. Here is where we film the YouTube videos. So. You might recognize this background. This is where the YouTube videos are filmed with this background. Now you might be wondering right now, why is this here? I have not had, I have not figured out how to use it yet. 
but in one of my YouTube videos, I just wanted to tell a really bad joke and then nobody laughs and then this tumbleweed just flies across the room. So prepare for that one day, it will be used. And there we have Alex's bathroom. I had to install this shower for him. Kind of close call here with how close the toilet is, but, but he ain't complaining. All right, here's the balcony. I need to get furniture for the balcony, but uh, here we got the pool and the jacuzzi. You can see it's a nice green lawn. There's always rabbits and road runners and tons of different type of wildlife out here. It's pretty cool. There's also some good mountain scenery on both sides. Unfortunately, my neighbor's yards aren't the best things to look at, but if you can ignore that, now this was supposed to be here, and this is supposed to be here. And these are supposed to be here. But the problem is somebody forgot to do it. Somebody forgot to hang these up. Whose fault was that? I wonder whose fault that is. Alex, thank you for fessing up. Now I also bought this adjacent property. So one day I wanna build on that. Um, I haven't figured out what yet, but I will build something badass on that property. So that, that's the, the adjacent lot I own as well. Now let me show you the backyard. This is the pool, this is the jacuzzi. What I love about this place, it's so quiet and peaceful. The most peaceful place I've ever lived. Like during the day, there's no noise. I know this has a name, but I can't think of it, but it's only a few inches deep. I feel like this is gonna come in handy during the summer. <laughs> this is the Glute Squad's favorite zone. They love to lay out. This is the famous influencer wall. I got tons of my squad that took pictures. I would never look at that and think there would be a good place for pictures, but I don't have an eye like they do. You know how bad I would have killed for a backyard like this growing up? I mean, we could have played wiffle ball and football and all sorts of sports, volleyball. Yeah, we could have had a field day here. You can see these glute lab lights up there and I have neon lights in my garage too. Sometimes I wonder what it looks like from people who drive by. All right, now let me show you the gym. All right, this is Glute Lab Las Vegas. This is a four car, 1200 square foot garage gym. Actually, I actually think it's 1300, but um, you know, I put rubber flooring down, I put mirrors, I put little neon lights around it. I boxed in like the water heater and things like that, that are things that are unsightly. But let me show off some of my equipment. Here's where we do squats, bench, chin-ups, and military press. I love these little guys that I got off Amazon, except this, they'd fall backwards. Clearly, whoever made this doesn't even lift. Here's where we do high step ups. I drag this out, we do high step ups. Nordics. This is my Nordic ham curl machine, very proud of this. This is my hammy track and roller. This free motion cable column is so smooth. I'm so glad I got it, it's expensive, you know, I thought about getting a used one, but I'm really glad I bought the brand new free motion because it's so smooth. It just, oh, everything feels amazingly comfortable off of it. Now, this is glute lab, but it also could be called delt lab. Here I've got a lateral raise machine. I can actually do this stack 
the stack and these two extra weights for 12 reps right now. So I've gotten really strong at this thing. Here's my adduction machine. You might not know this about me, but I have really muscular adductors. My legs are pretty scrawny, but my adductors are super strong. I can do the stack plus these extra weights for 55 reps. I've never met anyone who has stronger adductors than me. And then the seated hip abduction machine. So this never gets used by any of my glute squad members, only by me, but this gets used all the time. The ladies love it. I can also do the whole stack for 55 reps on these. So I have good abduction, adduction strength. Here's where we do back extensions. We got a Smith machine. This is for leg extensions and seated leg curls. Here are our dumbbells. Here I've got a plate loaded shoulder press machine and I actually prefer using it uh, facing this way and one arm at a time. Masa's boyfriend Chris turned me onto that and I think it's better that way. Here's where we do our glute bridges. Here is a Nautilus glute drive. This is a speaker. We use this for our parties and we use it here in the gym, but it's really amazing. It gets so loud, then the bass is amazing. Here we got the T-bell and the blocks. So this is where we do our straddle lifts. And finally, this is where the thrusting occurs. This is my hip thruster, the favorite of all my inventions. So it's a very BC strength oriented gym. What's cool is this parking lot goes forever. So theoretically it could be like <laughs> lunge all the way up and back. I wonder how many steps that would be. That'd probably be 200 steps for me, 300 for one of my shorter clients, but yeah. So you can do stuff out here as well. Here's a, here's a better view of the mountains from the side here. And then, and then here, eventually we're going to get blinds. So we don't have to have aluminum foil on the windows, but that's just to block out light so we can film YouTube videos during the day. I've showed you where I eat. I showed you where I sleep. I showed you where I lift. I showed you where I bathe. I even showed you where I make love to a woman. So I can't think of anything else to show you. Now it's time for you to get the fuck out. All right, this was a unique video. I don't do stuff like this often. So in the comments section, let me know if you like seeing this type of stuff or if you'd prefer just strictly strength training, strictly thrusting, strictly hip thrust, strictly glutes. Welcome to Mikasa. I hope you enjoyed the video.